got a really good question, actually. You know, we always tell you don't give your dog synthetic supplements and use natural food sources whenever you can. And this question is whether you can give pistachios if you want to give your dog melatonin. And in theory, that could be a really good idea because the, there's some research um, by the Louisiana State University in conjunction with the Pistachio Growers Association that says pistachios actually have more melatonin than most foods. So why would you want to give your dog melatonin in the first place? Well, it's a natural hormone. Your dog actually does produce it. It's produced by the pineal gland, but not everybody has enough. And melatonin is something that can help regulate the sleep-wake cycle. So a lot of people take it for insomnia. And you could use it for a similar situation in your dog. For like, for example, if you have a dog with a cognitive disorder, maybe a senior dog who's a little disoriented or has some trouble sleeping, uh, melatonin could help with that. Uh, it can also help with anxiety. You can give it for fear of storms or fireworks. And dermatologists prescribe it for hair loss, alopecia. Not a problem I have, but uh, quite a few dogs do, and it can be quite helpful. So uh, melatonin is a good thing to use in some cases. Um, there are some foods you can give your dog that help stimulate natural melatonin production. And those would be things like um, grass-fed beef, pasture-raised chicken or pasture-raised eggs, uh, wild fish and wild game. Those are all good foods to help uh, create natural melatonin production. Um, but what about pistachios? Because they do have melatonin. Well, not really a great idea, unfortunately. Um, like all nuts, pistachios are pretty high in fat, so they can be a little hard to digest for your dog. For a smaller dog, they could even be a choking hazard because they, um, they're, you know, they're pretty crunchy. And if your dog just does, just chomps and swallows, um, they could get it stuck in their throat. But actually, there are some other more serious risks, and one of them is aflatoxin mold. And that's a toxic mold. You've probably heard us talk about aflatoxins in peanuts, and that's why we don't advise giving your dog peanuts or peanut butter. Um, but it's also in pistachios, and it can be deadly. It causes liver damage, and it can even cause liver failure. So you want to avoid aflatoxins for your dog. So, in summary, um, pistachios could be okay as an occasional crunchy treat, but I wouldn't give them to your dog regularly. Uh, instead, try feeding some of the uh, foods I mentioned to uh, stimulate your dog's natural hormone production. And if you do need to give a bit extra, get a melatonin supplement and you can give 1.5 milligrams per 25 pounds of body weight. Um, anyway, there's a link below underneath this video. Um, check out the link and talk, read more about melatonin. And of course, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.